Chapter Seventeen of For Heaven's Sake Little Talks to Little Folks by Reverend Gerald T. Brennan. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Maria Therese. Chapter Seventeen The Golden Key. Whenever a great hero visits our city, the mayor of our city usually gives him a key. That key is called the key of the city. Now the key of the city is a very large key. Sometimes it's a golden key. Sometimes it's a silver key. Very often a bow of ribbon is tied to the key. Now don't think that the key of the city will open any doors. Oh no! The key of the city is given to a hero as a sign of honor. It tells the hero that he is welcome in the city. If I were to give you the key of my house, you would know right away that I wanted you to visit me often. If I were to give you the key of my house, you would know that you were my friend. I wouldn't give the key of my house to a stranger. Neither would you give the key of your house to a stranger. Nobody would. It just wouldn't be sensible. Now for our story. Rita Marks and Helen Wright were good friends. For years the girls had been very good friends. They lived on the same street. They played together as children. They grew up together. They went to school together. All through grammar school and even into high school. Their vacations were spent together. Yes, Rita and Helen were very good friends. Every Christmas Rita received a present from Helen, and every Christmas Rita gave a present to Helen. The same thing happened whenever each girl had a birthday. Well, June the 16th was Helen Wright's birthday. For several days Helen wondered what present she would receive from Rita. Would it be a book? Would it be a box of candy? Would it be perfume? Oh, Helen thought about many presents that she would like to receive. Helen could hardly wait for her birthday to come. June the 16th came. Helen Wright's birthday. Sure enough, the mailman brought a small package for Helen. It was a birthday present from Rita Marks. Well, it didn't take very long for Helen Wright to open that small package. And was Helen surprised? What do you think was in the small package? There was a small box. Helen opened the box, and in the box she found a golden key. For a moment Helen was stunned. She stared at the golden key and wondered. Then she read the card. This golden key is the key to the door of my house. This golden key opens the door of a friend. Please use it often. Rita Marks Boys and girls, do you know that we have a golden key? Yes, we have. Jesus Christ has given us a golden key, and that golden key is Holy Communion. Holy Communion is the golden key that unlocks our hearts and allows Jesus to enter. Yes, every time we receive Holy Communion, we unlock the door of our hearts, and Jesus comes to visit us. Now, it isn't enough to let Jesus visit us once a month. Jesus wants to visit us more often. Jesus, our friend, wants to visit us at least once a week. Yes, Jesus would like to visit us every day. If we don't receive Holy Communion, Jesus can't visit us. When we don't receive Holy Communion, we lock the doors of our hearts on Jesus. Jesus can't enter our hearts unless we receive him in Holy Communion, unless we use our golden key. If I were to ask you whether you love Jesus, you'd answer, Certainly we love Jesus. Well, if you love Jesus, why, then, do you stay away from him? Why don't you receive Holy Communion more often? Why don't you use your golden key? Why don't you open the door of your heart? There is another thing, children, that we mustn't forget. Don't forget that Holy Communion is also the golden key to the great city of God, Heaven. You remember that Jesus promised that those who love Holy Communion will surely go to Heaven. You want to go to Heaven? Certainly you do. Well, you can't expect to get into Heaven unless you receive Holy Communion often. Children, Jesus is knocking on the door of your heart. Open the door of your heart with your golden key. Receive Jesus in Holy Communion. 
End of chapter 17